although I mainly like to stick with uh, Debian-based distros, I just love to play with as many different distros as I can. Slax is one that uh, I played with when I first started messing with Linux uh, six years ago, uh, and it, it's neat. It's a nice little distro, and it, it does some unique things. And one of those things um, that does is instead of uh, you know your normal way of of uh, adding packages uh, to a live distro by installing them. This one uses modules that you can download and just you copy them to a folder on the CD or before you burn it or you can add those modules while you're running the live CD. But something new that they've added since I last checked it out was build your own slacks here. So if you go to slacks it's uh, slax.org and you click on their build slacks it gives you their default little setup here. These are suggested modules and an estimated size of one, uh, 199 megabytes is what this image will be with these uh, basic modules. And these are basic applications, programs that are built in. So like if you decide, hey, I don't want uh, KOffice installed by default, you can just close that and you can see we drop down in size here from 199 to 182 megabytes. And if you don't need developmental tools or these basic apps, now you can click on, on the name of the app like so, and it'll give you more of a detailed, you know, what is involved in this. Like this has some image viewers, image editors, some simple games, a PDF viewer. So at any time I can click back on uh, build slacks or I can, uh, you know, download. Uh, if you're running the live C, you can download or activate uh, the module while you're running. But let's get back to building our own. I'm going to get rid of these Slack apps, and I'm going to get rid of Firefox because I don't need that for the project I'm working on. I have almost cut my my size in half here, um, and so far, basically, I have the the core operating system, Xorg, and KDE installed, and a lot of that size probably comes from KDE. So, um, but that's good. I want that. Uh, so what we can do now is we can add more modules, and you can search through different modules. You can add certain drivers you might need, media, editors, graphics. You can click on these and go in here and, and start going through these. And you can just click Add to Build. So like if I want to add Image Magic, uh, I can click Add to Build, and then I can go back up to Build Slacks, and you can see that it's been added uh, and that my size has gone up. Not very much. It went from, I think it was at 119 to 124, so about 5 megabytes. Um, we can close, we can remove that by clicking the little X there. So I'm just going to grab a few modules I think I might need. I'm going to definitely need NTFS uh, support, which allows me to write to the NTFS NT file system, uh, which is needed for most versions of Windows. So if I want to access a current Windows, like a Vista or a Windows 7 install or some Windows XP installs, if I want to be able to access that hard drive from this live CD, uh, more than just reading, if I want to be able to write to it, I'll need that, so I'll add that to the build. Another thing that I'm going to add here is an application I'm going to do search on, uh, CHNTPW, I believe it's called. There it is, and that allows me to edit uh, Windows passwords and edit the registry on a Windows m machine from my Linux distro. So I'll add that to the build. I'll go back to my uh, build here. You can see the size of my image is going to be an estimated 121 megabytes, which is still pretty small. And I'm just going to click download ISO. I'll save it. And when that's done downloading, I can just burn it to a CD or install it to a flash drive. And I've got my own custom Slacks built. And it's that easy with uh, Slacks. So check it out, slacks.org. Click on build slacks and start adding and removing modules. Every once in a while you'll add a module and it will tell you that there are some other required ones you need to click on to add. Um, and at any point you can uh, you can click on, uh, where is it? You can save it for later. Um, oh, default selection. So if I wanted to go back to the default, I just click that. And there we go. We're back at the default setup. So you can add and remove stuff. and. This is one of the simplest ways to customize a your own distro for a live CD. So I uh, hope you found this useful. Hope you play with it. And I hope you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more videos and tutorials like this one.